you said you had like over a hundred of your patients in the carnival diet and you're getting blood tests for them in, in terms of testosterone increasing the carnival diet and maybe in more than men, have you seen any crazy like testosterone transformations like double or triple? Or, yeah. What's yeah. It yeah. Well, one guy, one guy who's like 65 and his like slammed up. So we, we look at different reference ranges. You, you look at just the normal reference range. You're looking at the average for that population, right? That's why, that's why reference range is, change in every every location or even every you know uh, uh lab in the same city because basically the first two thousand people that walk in the door every year uh that becomes their reference range right so that's normal right but who goes against blood tests usually people who are sick and they're trying to find something out and so um that's not a good that's not a good marker and when you look at the fact that like you know anywhere from like 88 to 93 percent of uh, uh of the population is metabolically unhealthy you know, why are we, why are we, you know, trying to, you know, see where we stack up in the population. I want to look at, you know, what my patient's bloods are compared to someone who's healthy and in the prime of life. And so, uh, we look at, we look at uh, a different set of ranges, uh, that normally you'd see someone in their mid twenties, male and female that would, um, uh, that, that are, that are healthy, that are metabolically healthy, don't have any medical issues and what are their ranges, right? So we look at that as, as sort of a, a range of, of healthy young adults. And so when you look at that testosterone is, is a very different range and, um, sort of between like 600 and 900 is a good range, uh, for testosterone in, um, in men in Australia. And I've seen guys uh, this one guy, he was like 65 and as his, you his, probably had testosterone probably around 300 and it just slammed up and he was just like, he was, he was like close to 900. Right. And he was, it just like went woof up to the upper. <laughs> how long? How long? Uh, about three months. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's and so, yeah, it was like this guy was juicing or something like that, but he was <laughs> not, he wasn't on anything. He wasn't on any, I don't, I don't like putting people on uh, hormone uh, replacement therapy unless uh, unless they've been on carnivore for, you know, at least three to six months and we see where their, their hormones shake out, you know, I mean, you know, putting people on, you know, bioidentical, uh, hormones is, um, you know, I don't, I don't think there's a problem with that, uh, per se. Um, but I also don't think it's really that necessary when you get someone on a carnivore diet, you generally see most of their hormonal issues, uh, correct themselves. And then even if it's not, you know, exactly what you'd see in a 25 year old, they still feel great. And their bodies are still working wonderfully. So they, they tend to not even want it or need it. So this guy, yeah, he jacked up to like nearly 900, which is like the upper, upper range for like, you know, a really healthy 25 year old. And, and he, he was funny. He was just like, gosh, I have so much energy. Like all I want to do is work out and like, you know, do stuff with my wife. And was, and he used, you know, more, more vulgar terms than that. And it was, it was, it was quite funny how, how this guy was, he's like, he's going, going through puberty again. You see him just like just ch you know, charged up with energy. So, you know, he felt really great. Uh, generally we see probably around 30 to 40%, um, bump in testosterone in about three months. That's, wow. that's generally what we see. Yeah, it's huge. It's very big. And the thing is too, is it's not just the total, you know, cholesterol or the total um, testosterone numbers that are changing, but your body's ability to utilize testosterone changes as well. Your DHA, you know, so your dihydrotestosterone, DHT, um, you know, ratios change as well. It's a more bioactive form of testosterone. So those levels will improve. Um, and also your testosterone receptors, uh, improve as well. And even just, even just from, uh, and how your body just utilizes these things improves, right? So, you know, carnitine, um, you know, there've been studies are showing that, that increased, uh, carnitine consumption, uh, can actually increase the number of testosterone receptors on your cells, right? So for the same amount of testosterone, you're getting a bigger effect, right? Wow. So, um, carnitine is in a lot of animal products, but there's a ton of it in red meat. And so, you know, a lot of people, when they go back to carnivore, a lot of them are eating red meat. They're focusing on ruminant animals and red meat. You know, that's the first one we drop when we go vegetarian or, or just try to change our health in the last 50 years, because they said, you know, cholesterol is bad. Saturated fat is bad. Red meat has a lot of saturated fat and cholesterol. So they reduced that down and actually you know, like chicken mostly has replaced that. So, you know, total amount of meat that we, that we've been eating, um, hasn't really changed too much. But the the kinds of meat 
has changed dramatically. We reduced uh, our red meat consumption significantly. And that's something that people tend to go back to uh, when they start doing this. They, they find that they feel much better on red meat. I almost exclusively eat red meat. Uh, about 99% of what I eat is just, is just, you know, beef steaks, you know. Thank you so much guys for watching that video. On the bottom left, we have the link to the full interview. And on the top left, we have what's recommended for you. Also guys, if you could subscribe to our channel, that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you and have a good day.